Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial we are going to create some 3d kinetic typography animation in hit film express so let's begin this tutorial by creating a new composite shot um, I'm gonna go with 1080p and 30 frames per second click on ok then we're gonna create a new camera since this is going to be all 3d I'm gonna create need a camera and then we'll also create a point layer now appear in the camera to the new point and now uh, we'll be just basically editing our camera position using this new point layer we won't be touching the camera layer so uh, once you do that you just simply have to then create a text layer I'm gonna set the width to 1920 click on OK and then we can start typing our text and then we can also change the font right here we can send this up and we can increase the font size so I think um, I'm gonna go with something like 250 ish and uh, then we just select the selection tool and then you can see that our anchor point is right over here and also if I turn the background color I change that to blue uh, we get this red line and we can like you know see that where the floor is First of all, we want our text to be on top of this red line that is going through. You can see right here. We want it right there, and this anchor point is going to be on the touching this left side of this text. So we go to transform and we change the anchor point. So let's just change that value to something around, let's just see. So around negative 254 and we just copy this value and paste it in the position so that we bring it back in the center okay so we have that and we can rename this text layer as well well now what I want to do is I want to animate this text so I want it to fall down from the top to this position so I'm gonna move one second forward in time create a position keyframe and move back to the first frame and I want the position to be at the top so now it's going to like fall down like that let's select like these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier go into value graph now select this handle and drag it all the way to the left let's uh, go move our playhead at the first frame and move 10 frames forward and we can just select this handle and put it right at that position now uh, if we look at our animation it's going to look much better like that okay so we have that and then we can just create new text layer and uh, well let's just see if we can just duplicate it let's not duplicate it and let's create a new text layer because we want different position keyframes so let's just create new text layer and we'll call I would say the and again we will We'll transform and change the position to 54 so that it's just touching this red line and again we need to change the anchor point as well so that it is at the edge and uh, we also like to change the these text layers to 3d so before we do that let's just change the anchor point uh, to something like we can just help take the help of these lines right here and you know try to uh, get this value right here so it's negative 179 copy it and just paste it in the position like that and now we can just make these two layers 3d and let me just rename this layer as well and uh, I want this layer if I just select the uh, orbit tool or the camera tool we can just click and hold and just drag it and see this see this animation from the top view uh, what I want to do on this text is I want it to rotate uh, 90 degrees something like that it should be negative 90 so something like that and I also want its position to be on the edge of the first text and uh, then we can just rotate it and see if it is looking fine which I think it does 
but if it doesn't we can just later make the changes so that is looking good let's create new text layer and click on ok and this time I'm gonna type in this text right here and again before we make it 3d let's just rename this to best and we can just go transform and move the anchor point so somewhere something around i think negative 248 so i'm just going to copy it and paste it right here okay look looks good and position as well we're gonna set this to 54 so that it is on top of this red line and again if we go back we can just uh, look at from the top view and this text uh want it to be 3d and then we can just position it so maybe i can just move it right over here and just push it back like that and yeah we should we can just rotate this as well and see if it is looking correct or not and i think it does so now uh, we can just simply animate our camera so let's just do that and uh, uh, before we animate our animate uh, this camera movement we can just go to the second text layer and we want it to reveal as well so at one second we're going to create position keyframe and at two seconds we're going to create the same keyframe and at one second on this keyframe we want the position we want this text to come from the bottom like so i'm going to select these keyframes convert it to manual bezier then we can just go to value graph and we can just select this handle move it right here this one all the way to the left now we have this kind of animation and then on the third the final text layer we can create a keyframe at two second for the position and at three second as well and at two second i want the text to come from the left like that you can select these keyframes convert to manual bezier go into value graph you can move 10 frames forward we can just put it right here and this handle all the way to the left so now if we take a look at our overall animation it's not looking quite right so let's just go into this layer and move it to the top like so. so we have something like that uh, and then we can just animate it make this layer the point layer as 3d as well now we need to create um, the keyframes key for x y and z and let's just move forward to two second and just reveal the text like that so we have that kind of movement and then we can move like in uh forward three seconds and we can just bring it back something like that to around negative 15 or 16. okay so something like that and we can like select these keyframes going to manual bezier and we're gonna ha have this uh, this kind of uh, animation so we can go to value graph and uh, then we can just go to the middle keyframe and uh, what i want is i want this to be all the way to the left and from this one this point at one second we'll move 10 frames forward just like this handle and put it right there and from this point we we'll move 10 frames forward I'll select this handle and put it right there and this one all the way to the left so now it's going to hold this animation for a bit more for a bit longer but uh if it doesn't you can if you want a bit more hold in this uh, in this part right here we can uh, just copy this keyframe and just like paste it right here and we can just move this one over to the right so we have something like that but i'm just going to leave it as it is 
and then we can <clears throat> finally we can go new point and we can like you can see that the animation is not in the center so we can change the position uh, something like that and we can even <clears throat> change the orientation and we can like uh, make this animation look a uh, bit uh, you know make it look uh, different from different angles so right at this point we can see that we have this text right here but we can just simply fix it but let's just take a look at this animation and you can see that it looks uh, different uh, if we change the position or the orientation and stuff like that so we can play around with those things and get a different kind of animation yeah something like that and then we can finally uh, we can you know if we go to the first frame uh, you can see that it's the text is now uh, away from the viewer and then we can just select this text uh, and we can just select the text tool and we can just color this up as well and maybe let's go with this color right here we can select the middle text select that and change its color as well and then we have the third text and we can change its color as well so let's go with something like red so that is basically it that's how you can create this uh, 3d kinetic typography animation and hit film express oh uh, wait, wait a minute so I can see the third text uh, which is right here wait a minute so let's just try to fix that and uh, just maybe uh, the text just got deleted so, yeah there we have it just a simple control Z fix that for me so yeah that's uh, basically how you can create this animation uh, if you have any questions uh, do let me know in the comments below uh, other than that if this video was helpful please don't forget to leave a like and um, like, subscribe to this channel um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.